us welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll do the part 2 of the same topic that is the understanding quadrilaterals so now here we are going to see the 11.2 innings so look at the first figure they said find x in each of the following here so now this figure is given so only this i have whatever i have done with this white one that is unknown so because now see can you see this is 1 2 3 4 then 5 so this is a pentagon so now first thing we have to find the value of this x so directly we cannot find out the value of x first we have to find out this and this part so what will you do here you can see this is 90 degree so if this is 90 degree means this is a now this is a line given means this is a linear pair so this is 90 degree means it should be this also means what are the this one sum of angles of this uh, linear pair means it should be 180 degree so this is 90 means so we can write here this you can name it anything i just name it at 1 and 2 so this 2 plus 90 this 2 plus 90 that is 180 because it's a linear pair so angle 2 is going to be 180 minus 90 that is going to be 90 degree so now uh, we got this angle this is 90 degree we know this one so now 2x now what we have to see that Uh, this angle one. So now, what will you do? Again, this and this should be one eighty degree because that again this is a linear pair. So whenever this like this is there, this will be one eighty degree. So what we can write here? Angle one plus angle x that is one eighty degree. That is a linear pair. So angle one is going to be one eighty. This plus x goes on the other side. That is going to be minus x. So now this we got as one eighty minus x. So now what are we going to do? We know this is a pentagon. So how many sides? That is five sides. So there is a formula for this one. That will be the sum is going to be here, n minus two into one eighty degree. So this is five minus two because that is a pentagon. The number of sides are five. Five minus two n means the number of sides into this one eighty. So this will be three into one eighty. So that will be five hundred and forty. So what will you do? This plus this, all this five. This is written here. That is five hundred and forty. So this is one of the important step. So now what will you do? You will take x together. So this will be minus x plus two x means plus two minus one. That is going to be just x. And when you add this all, that is going to be four ninety five. You can add and see that is your right side is five forty. So x will be five forty, and this plus four ninety five will go on the other side. That is going to be minus four ninety five. So x will be forty five. So that is what they ask the value of x. So now let us see how to do this one. So you can see these all are the exterior angles. So you know the exterior angles. Some of our exterior angles is three sixty degrees. So now you are going to add this all. So that is three sixty degree. So now what we can see here plus five plus five means plus ten and minus ten. So this will get cancelled out. So now what remains is just x four plus one five six seven and this one eight. So that will be eight x is three sixty degree. So x will be three sixty. This is multiplication means this will get divided by a. That will be forty five degree. So the value of x is forty five degree. Now look at this figure. How many sides are here? That will be one, two, three, and four. So this should be three hundred and sixty degree. So you are going to add all these things. That will be three sixty degree. So what will be here? Ninety degree plus x will be three sixty. So x will be three sixty. This will go here. That will be ninety degree. That will be x will be two hundred and seventy degree. Now here again we have this four sides and this is a quadrilateral. So now this will be three sixty. So we can say sum of angles in a quadrilateral is three sixty. So you will add all this one that will be three sixty. So you can see a one eighty plus this will be three x will be three sixty. So three x here three sixty already on the right hand side. This will go here that will be minus one eighty. So three x will be one hundred and eighty degrees. So x is going to be one eighty divided by three that will be x is going to be sixty degree. Now find the number of sides of a polygon if the sum of interior angles is ten right angles. So sum of interior angles of a polygon means the formula is n minus two into one eighty degree. So one right angle is ninety degree. So we have ten right angles means we are going to cross multiply that one. That will be ten into ninety divided by one. That will be nine hundred degree. So now what will you do? We are going to we know the sum of interior angles. Same is going to be nine. And minus two into one eighty degrees. So in place of this sum, because we got this as nine hundred, so we'll write here nine hundred 
this is the same 9 n minus 2 into 180 degrees so now what we will do here this is multiplication so now let us take this 180 on the other side that is going to get divided and minus 2 as it is so this and this gets cancelled 18 and 18 fives are so what we can say 5 is equal to n minus 2 so if we take minus 2 on this side that is going to be plus 2 that will be n so n will be this is going to be 7 sides same here the same formula for 720 again the sum is n minus 2 into you can write the same thing like the whole thing sum of interior angles of a polygon is here i just wrote in short so that will be n minus 2 into 180 degree so 720 is equal to n minus 2 into 170 uh, sorry 180 so this will go on the other side that will be this will be 18 fours are 72 so 4 is equal to n minus 2 so this minus 2 will go on this side that will be plus 2 so n will be 6 sides same here again for 1620 so same formula in place of this sum you will write a 1620 so this will go on the other side that will get divided this and this gets cancelled 18 ones are 18 nines are. so 9 is equal to n minus 2 so n plus 2 is equal to n so n will be 11 sides again for 540 the same thing only be careful when you are dividing it so 18 ones are 18 threes are if you don't know directly you can just see 18 times table So here this will be 3 is equal to n minus 2. So this will go here. That will be n will be 5 sides. Now find the measure of each interior angle of A. That is non-agon. Non-agon means we have 9 sides. So, so uh, we are going to use the formula. Sum of interior angles is again the n minus 2 into 180. In place of n we will write here 9 because this is a non-agon. So here this is going to be 7 into 180. That will be 1260 degree. But we want the measure of each interior angle. So what we can do interior angle is sum of interior angles because what we got this one sum of interior angles divided by the number of sides that will be n so we got this as 1260 divided by 9 that will be 140 same thing here for decagon decagon means deca means this 10 so same we are going to use the same formula sum of interior angles this is n minus 2 into 180 in place of n you are going to write 10 the rest all the same this will be 8 into 180 degree that will be 1440 so interior angle again we know the sum of interior angles divided by n same thing what we did in the previous one but divided by n will be 10 so this and this goes off that will be 144 degree again here 24 gone so you're you're going to use in this place of n 24 rest all the same this is going to be 22 22 into 180 that will be 3960 degree so again the interior angle is sum of interior angles divided by n so this divided by 24 that will be 165 degree so find the measure of each exterior angle this is exterior angle of a regular polygon having 12 sides so exterior angle will be 360 divided by n so just remember this one 360 divided by n so now you know this n is 12 so you will 360 divided by 12 that is going to be 12 ones are 12 threes and this is 0 so that will be 30 degree again 26 sides same thing you are going to write this formula in place of n you will write 26 when you divide this you get 13.85 degree how many sides does a regular polygon have if each interior angle is 144 degree so interior angle means you know this one that will be n minus 2 into this one divided by so the sum divided by n so the for the interior angle that was for the exterior angle so here sum divided by n so be careful with this one so you have to divide by n so now you know for the sum the formula is n minus 2 into 180 degree divided by n and you will know the interior angle is given so we want the sides so here we don't know n so keep as it is divided by n so now what will you do when we take this n on this side that will be 144 and it will be this the same so 144 n will be you can multiply this in because see uh, this this 180 means this will be for this as well as this one so that will be 180 n minus 360 so now this n will take on this side so that is going to be minus 180 n that will be minus 360 so minus 180 plus 144 that is going to be minus 36 n is equal to minus 360 you can see this negative both negative this one on the both sides so that will get cancelled out or you can also write like this minus 360 divided by minus 
36 and this minus minus becomes plus so both ways you can do here itself you can cancel out here so it's up to you so now this will be 360 divided by 36 so that will be 10 so n will be 10 10 sides same for 160 you are going to follow the same formula in when the interval angle is 160 we don't know number of sides we have to find out so 160 here this goes here that will be 160 and will be again here you have to multiply this one so 180 and minus 360 this will come here means minus 180 and and this is minus 360 so minus 180 plus 160 that will be minus 20 and will be minus 360 so n is going to be 360 divided by 20 so this and this goes that will be 18 sides again for 156 same interval angle is 156 we don't know the number we have to find out the number of sides so this goes here 156 n will be same thing you will follow this will come here that will be minus 180 n this will be minus 360 so minus 24 n will be minus 360 so n is going to be 360 divided by 24 that will be 15 sides now is it possible to have a regular polygon with an angle of measure 25 degrees so then let us solve and see whether it's possible so we have the formula because they have said uh, uh, that is with an angle of 25 degree so we can see the interior angle we can start that is n minus 2 into 180 degree divided by n because this angle is given that is the interior angle so that will be 25 again we are going to use the same method for your 25 n will be 180 minus n minus 360 this goes here that will be 25 n minus 180 and that will be minus 360 so this will be minus 180 plus 25 that will be minus 155 and this minus 360 so n will be so again this minus and minus both segments get that gets cancelled out so here what we can see this is not the not a whole number we get the answer in decimal 2.32 when you divide this one so whenever there is a side means there should be a whole number so we can say it's not possible to have a regular polygon with an interior angle of 25 degree because this is in decimal and not a whole number find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon having seven sides so again we are going to use the same thing yes sum of interior angles will be n minus 2 into 180 and we have seven sides so in place of this n you are going to write seven 7 minus 2 into 180 so this will be 5 into 180 that will be 900 degree because they have set sum of the interior angles again here for 11 sides so in place of use the same formula 11 minus 2 that will be 9 into 180 that will be 162 degree now for 16 the same formula in place of n you can put 16 so this will be 14 into 180 that will be 2520 degree so what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon so you know the polygon the minimum angle means that will be this it starts with a triangle so a triangle has three sides so what we can do the minimum thing will be three sides so what you are going to use the interior angle so if you know this thing other things are very easy so the minimum they said so that can be only possible with a triangle so it has three sides so you are going to use that interior angle formula is n minus 2 into 180 divided by n so here you are going to put 3 again here the 3 rest all the same so 3 minus 2 means 1 into 180 divided by 3 so this should be 60 degrees so we can say minimum interior angle for a regular polygon is 60 degree so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you